The Philippines faces several challenges in ensuring maritime security, including 1. Territorial disputes. The Philippines is involved in territorial disputes with neighboring countries, particularly in the South China Sea, which can lead to tensions and potential security threats in the maritime domain. 2. Illegal fishing and overfishing. The Philippines grapples with illegal, unreported, and unregulated IUU fishing activities, as well as overfishing, which can deplete marine resources and undermine the country's food security and economic interests. 3. Piracy and maritime crime. The waters around the Philippines are susceptible to piracy, armed robbery, and other maritime crimes, posing risks to commercial shipping, fishing vessels, and maritime trade. 4. Limited resources. The Philippines faces resource constraints in terms of maritime surveillance, law enforcement capabilities, and infrastructure, which can hinder its ability to effectively monitor and secure its vast maritime territory. 5. Environmental threats. The country's marine environment is vulnerable to pollution, illegal dumping, and other environmental hazards, which can have long-term implications for both maritime security and the well-being of coastal communities. 6. Governance and Coordination. Ensuring effective governance and coordination among various agencies involved in maritime security can be challenging, leading to gaps in enforcement, response, and overall security measures. Addressing these challenges requires a multifaceted approach, including investment in maritime surveillance and enforcement capabilities, international cooperation, sustainable resource management, and the development of comprehensive maritime security policies and frameworks. During the administration of President Ferdinand Marcos, several initiatives were undertaken to address maritime issues and enhance the security of the Philippines. Some of the key actions during the Marcos administration included 1. Strengthening maritime law enforcement. Efforts were made to enhance the capabilities of the Philippine Coast Guard and the Philippine Navy to patrol and protect the country's maritime borders. This included the acquisition of new vessels, equipment, and training for personnel to improve maritime law enforcement. 2. Territorial Defense The Marcos administration focused on bolstering the country's territorial defense, particularly in the context of territorial disputes in the South China Sea. This involved fortifying military installations on disputed islands and reefs, as well as asserting the country's sovereignty in the region. 3. Maritime Surveillance and Intelligence Investments were made in maritime surveillance and intelligence gathering capabilities to monitor and respond to potential security threats in Philippine waters. This included the deployment of radar systems, patrol aircraft, and other assets to enhance maritime domain awareness. 4. International Engagement the administration engaged in diplomatic efforts to seek support from international partners and raise awareness of maritime security issues, particularly in the context of territorial disputes. This included seeking assistance from allies and participating in regional forums to address common maritime concerns. 5. Legislation and Policy The Marcos administration pursued the development of legislation and policies aimed at strengthening maritime security, including the enactment of laws related to maritime safety, environmental protection, and the regulation of maritime activities. It's important to note that the initiatives undertaken during the Marcos administration were part of broader efforts to address maritime challenges and ensure the security of the Philippines. These efforts were aimed at safeguarding the country's maritime interests, protecting its territorial integrity, and promoting stability The in Philippines the government's alliances with other countries in maritime security offer several benefits, including 1. Enhanced maritime domain awareness. Collaborating with other countries allows the Philippines to improve its ability to monitor and secure its maritime territory, including identifying and responding to security threats such as piracy, illegal fishing, and smuggling. 2. Capacity building. Partnerships with other countries can lead to the sharing of knowledge, technology, and training, which can help the Philippines improve its maritime law enforcement capabilities, including search and rescue operations, maritime patrols, and interdiction efforts. 3. Regional stability. By working with other nations on maritime security, the Philippines can contribute to regional stability and security, which is essential for economic development and the safety of maritime trade routes. 4. Intelligence sharing. Alliances enable the exchange of intelligence and information, which can help the Philippines government to better understand and respond to security threats in its maritime domain. 5. Legal and policy support. Collaborating with other countries can provide the Philippines with access to legal and policy expertise, 
which can be valuable in developing and implementing effective maritime security strategies and frameworks. Overall, these alliances can strengthen the Philippines' ability to protect its maritime interests and contribute to broader regional security efforts. If you like this video, please, like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep you updated. Thank you for watching Future PH. See you in my next video.